Hello students, welcome back to my channel. I am Sandeep sir and in this video you will be getting a, a formal letter and an informal letter and two compositions for your half yearly course. You need to write them down in your English language copy. So I will just read them out to you. The first one is a formal letter and it's a letter to the editor of a newspaper about the frequent power cuts in your locality. Firstly, you will have to write your address, 212 Hiranagar or now. Then you will write the date after leaving a line. Then again you will have to leave a line. Then mention the name and address, sorry, the designation basically of the uh, receiver. Okay. So you are writing this letter to the editor of a newspaper. So you will need to write the editor, Hindustan Times which is the name of a newspaper and the address is Kanpur. You will also need to write the subject. Why are we writing this letter? So the subject is frequent power cuts in my locality. Now let's start the letter. Dear Sir, I am a resident of Hiranagar now. The power supply of my area is very irregular. As soon as the evening hours start, there is a power cut for hours. As you may be aware that half yearly examinations are approaching and evening hours are our study hours so we suffer a lot through the columns of your newspaper i want to bring this problem into the knowledge of higher authorities i hope you will do me this favor thanking you your sincerely and write your name let's move on to the informal letter in which you are writing a letter to your younger brother scolding him for having neglecting his studies so let's start with the brother's address 123 Jawahar Nagar New Delhi then the date should be mentioned then our own address is mentioned and then we'll start the letter dear Arpit yesterday I received mom's letter through which I came to know that your performance in the second unit test is not up to the mark you are not paying attention towards studies you are busy with mobile games most of the time. Your half yearly examinations are approaching. So pay attention towards your studies. Otherwise, I will stop conversing with you. If you get good marks in the half yearly examination, then I will give you a gift. Hope that you will follow my advice. Your loving sister and your name. And you, if you are a boy, then you can also write your loving brother and then write your name. Let's move on to the composition part. The first composition is my aim in life. Every person has his own dreams or ambitions in his life. It is always good to have ambition in life. Many people have no definite ambition in their lives. They are like travelers going ahead without any destination. Such people lead an aimless life. My aim in life is to get a good education through hard work and dedication. Then I want to choose a profession through which I can help the poor and deprived section of the society. I hope that this small effort of mine will bring a change in the life of many people. There will be a change in the society also. I want to teach others also to follow this act of kindness. Making money should not be the aim of one's life. We must also learn to utilize our money on some productive work which leads to the upliftment of the society. If everyone in a country has the same aim, then that country can be the best nation of the world. Now let's move on to the second composition which you also need to write in your copy. The first gift I received, gift I ever received was a book named 1001 Amazing Facts for Children. I won a GK quiz for class 4 and my father presented the book to me when he came back from his office. I was thrilled and quickly opened the gift box. The book was full of colorful images and was very attractive. My father told me that there are some amazing things in this book and you should try to read two pages every day. Since then, I used to read a couple of pages and sometimes more every day. The book has so many interesting facts 
about space and planets, rainforest and wild animals, about our body, etc. Even though I received many gifts since then, that book was something special to for me. I always keep that book on my study table. It brings me joy every time I think about the day I got it. So this is your children. You need to write all these work uh, in your English language copy. This is it for today. Thank you.